welcome to Sarah's Stamping Retreat. Today I'm taking part in the Kendra's Card Challenge 16 kickoff hop. So each person on the hop is going to be creating a card using a different sketch from Kendra's Card Challenge 16 which has just launched yesterday. So I'm going to be doing sketch 11 which is this one and for that I'm going to be using some fun products from Spellbinders. So I've got this Serenade of Autumn paper pack and you can see what it's like from the front and all of these gold bits are actually foiled it's really gorgeous paper and I'm also going to be using the Serenade of Autumn vellum which is a foiled vellum and also these die cut shapes so I'm just going to tip these out so you can get an idea of how many of these you get because there's so many but aren't they gorgeous you've got all sorts sunflowers butterflies loads of sentiments, flowers, pumpkins, all sorts, really gorgeous pack. So if you've not come across Kendra's card challenge before, then each quarter Kendra shows us how to cut up six pieces of pattern paper. She gives us all the cutting guides to cut up the six pieces and they're labelled A to F and then she gives us all of the card sketches to make 15 cards. So we're making this one so you can see like here it says paper F and it tells you the dimensions. So if you're doing the whole card challenge then you would get that piece from paper cutting template F. So I have got a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card blank and then I've created the four by five and a quarter inch layer from this really pretty vellum. And because our next layer is going to cover a lot of this, I'm not going to worry too much about hiding the glue. I'm just going to put it on with ordinary glue where I'd usually use my sticky specs for vellum. But I'm just going to make sure it doesn't go too close to the edges so you can't see it behind the vellum. So then I've got this layer which is my three and a half by four and three quarter inch layer. And I've done that in the same teal as the card blank. So there's a giveaway for today's hop and you can enter the giveaway at every stop on the hop to get as many chances of winning as possible. You just have to listen out for the passphrase at each hop and then you can enter that into the giveaway form. So keep listening to find out what the giveaway phrase is for this hop. So I am going to start adding on these pieces of paper around here. So this piece is from Paper F if you're doing the whole challenge. And this is three and a quarter by three quarters of an inch. So then I've got these cute little foiled pieces. These are two and three quarter by half an inch from Paper D. So all these pieces around the outside are two and three quarter by half an inch. So I'm just going to pop those round. And these challenges are such a good way to use up some of that pattern paper that most of us have got in our collections. And Kendra always makes it so that there's barely any waste when you cut up your pattern papers. And I think it's really nice to be able to make 15 cards with six sheets of pattern paper. And then we've got this thin quarter of an inch by three and a quarter inch piece of pattern paper to go right at the bottom. And to get these printables, you need to sign up for Kendra's Patreon. All of the details for that will be in the description below, as will all the details for the giveaway. But it is the free version of the Patreon, you don't have to pay anything to get these downloads although obviously she would appreciate your support if you did want to sign up for one of the paid levels. So then I'm just going to fill in this gap with some of these really cute pieces that I've taken from that die cut pack. So I've got some little pumpkins and then I'm just going to pop up this little pumpkin as well on the foam pad and then with this cute little butterfly I'm going to just press its wings up and just attach it down its body so that it adds a little bit of dimension. And then I've got this Give Thanks 
sentiment that I'm going to add on to. So I just pop that up with my fine pads. And while I'm popping that up, I'm going to tell you that for this stuff on the hop, the giveaway phrase is Pear Blossom Press. And each of the giveaway codes today is the name of one of the sponsors that's sponsoring Kendra's Card Challenge. And Pear Blossom Press are giving away a $25 gift card to someone that enters the Kendra's Card Challenge 16. So it's really worth entering the competition because you will get to use up some of your pattern paper, make some really pretty cards and get a chance to win one of these fantastic prizes. So don't forget to enter into the hop giveaway as well. All the details for that are in the description below. And don't forget to hop along to all of the designers to ensure you get lots of ideas and also to be able to enter into the giveaway at each stop and get the maximum chance of winning that fun prize. So then there's today's finished card. I'm really pleased with how that came out. If you enjoyed creating this with me, I'd really appreciate you clicking like below. You can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. All of the products that I've used for today's card are listed in the description below. And there's also a link there to my blog where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.